Hello and welcome to Competition. I wanted to thank you for watching this new content. It means a lot to me to have your support. Last night was the 24th of February, 2022. I'm going to run down that race for you. The cars are Formula One and the track was Barcelona. This was a tribute F1 testing race with virtual eSport. If you're interested in joining, please message me or look in the description for virtual. Oh my God, it's Pete. We are going to drive the shit out of this car. This is F1, we're in Barcelona. Those of you that don't know, that's Spain, me thinks. Actually been to the track, but the funny thing is when I went there, I was a bit of a, um, wasn't really tracking Formula One. So we just kind of drove by and saw it, but um, it didn't didn't have the same meaning uh, as today. So yeah, welcome. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, tons of unfortunate news. I mean, we've gone from having our mini crisis in Canada, and I really call it mini by comparison to what's going on, right? Eight streams, that's six you've shown up for. That's very possible, Chris. But you drive truck, so it makes sense that, you know, you're not going to be here all the time. Audio levels are good. Thank you very much. Good. So, yeah, I'm not, not trying to get political, but obviously um, there's nothing quite as stupid as having your entire livelihood and home ripped up from under you because of war. So... What more can I say, right? I have a brand new appreciation for this track. It's so quick and you need to be totally precise. Tonight, I really wanted to push and learn the track. We began at 6.30 and I wanted to say thanks to those who came early to watch. F1 Barcelona, super soft tires in the sun and in third person. That was a humbling experience. Here we go. <laughs> okay. I um, I guess that worked. A couple laps at 80% to get used to the turns. This track has two hard penalty limits near the end of lap, immediately after a pair of second 90 degree turns. Some corners you can take very wide, and I made some deliberate choices to keep it clean. There's so much space where you can pick up time, and this was the first time that I plateaued so hard and actually searched online for a custom tune. That tune got me a full one and a half second improvement which is mind-blowing. I left my practice session happy with a 120 flat without assists. I took a break and then began the actual team practice event with virtual. I decided first to run on hard tires for at least five laps to get used to that. Hard tires cost me a full four seconds per lap and I was worried that it would actually undo my time in practice. So I switched, train like you fight. Going out on softs with only 12 minutes to go, I was only able to post a 122.7, which is pretty far from my best. I spun out during one shot qualification, which put me at the back. No big deal, it's only four people. I wasn't too worried because I figured I could make up that time on the track. And this also reinforces my belief that one shot qualifying is dumb. That's why I don't really like one shot. One shot, stupid. The race started. On corner one, I backed off and let everyone have at it. The strategy paid off as one spun out and then I quickly passed Tuck on turn five on the inside.
I put a clean two second gap on him by the end of the first lap. After 14 of 17 laps and my pit was done, I was having lots of fun making up time on Cypher. Tuck smacked the wall, the pace car came out when I was doing 300 kilometers an hour and I got disqualified, ending my race and this also reinforces my belief that pace car laps are dumb in a game. Thanks very much for spending your time with me. Tuesday 1830 is the start of the next race, rubber side down, shiny side up, pedal down.